Free radicals are unstable molecules that exist in our cells. They attack other nearby molecules, stealing an electron and with it an atom to become stable again. When the attacked molecule loses that atom, it becomes a free radical itself, beginning a chain reaction. Normally the body can handle these free radicals. But if there are too many, cells can be damaged with devastating consequences. Free radical damage is associated with a number of diseases like heart disease and cancer and macular degeneration, but we also think that free radical damage to cells and tissues is a fundamental part of the aging process itself. Why we grow old is in part due to the activity of free radicals. But antioxidants, in particular vitamins A, C and E, mop up the free radicals and stop them from attacking our cells. A simple demonstration, with nothing more than a piece of steak, can show just how good vitamin E is at preventing free radical damage or oxidation. When you look at it in the grocery store, it's red and beautiful. That's the vitamin E that's protecting the meat from oxidation. What I'm going to show you is what happens if you destroy the vitamin E. So we're going to take this chemical and place it on the surface of the meat. That's going to actually destroy the vitamin E. Once the vitamin E is destroyed, the cells in the meat are swamped by free radicals. Within just a few minutes, the meat starts to turn brown and rancid. The cells have been fatally damaged. Moringa is very unusual because this single plant contains a wide variety of nutrients, but also in quite very high amounts. Marcou says this concentration of nutrients combined with low calories and low sodium content makes Moringa an ideal energy food or supplement that can help offset the typically unhealthy Western diet. Many of the Westerners are also deficient in antioxidant and anti-aging substances that are mostly found in plants. Antioxidants, according to the National Institutes of Health, protect the body cells and may prevent cancer. And Marcou says Moringa is a treasure trove of antioxidants that happen to work hand in hand. Antioxidant substances and antioxidant vitamins work together in the body. For instance, it's known that selenium works better in the presence of vitamin E. Moringa has high amounts of selenium and has also vitamin E. While many plants contain antioxidants, Dr. McClatchy says that Moringa is also high in the nutrients we usually associate with meat. Moringa is well known for being a, a good source of leafy green vegetable protein. And uh, you, you don't get a lot of protein out of uh, many vegetable foods other than like beans and things like that. So uh, getting it out of the leaves is really a big deal. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, Moringa contains 18 of the 20 amino acids, building blocks of proteins that are found in the human body. And says Marcou, Moringa is one of the few plants that contains all of the essential amino acids. Moringa contains all the nine essential amino acids that actually we cannot produce. Um, their presence, but also their ratio, is very beneficial and um, it is estimated that this ratio is very good for absorption and for being bioavailable to our bodies. Moringa has, it comes very close to being a perfect source of nutrients in terms of variety and concentration. So that is, I think, very unique about this Moringa tree.